Given the direction that Twitter has taken, it probably doesn't come as a surprise to hear that starting on June 11th, you'll no longer be able to take photos that you've taken on your Switch or clips and send them directly to Twitter. The immediate concern was what would happen to our Miiverse number two, because that's basically what Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3 feel like. Well, Nintendo actually has a solution already in tow, so we're all fine. For here, at least. In Splatoon 3, you'll be able to make your plaza posts without needing any social media at all. So for many of the people that are watching this video that might not even use Twitter that much, this might be a huge upgrade to you. You'll be able to just post without having to have anything, which hasn't been an option for all of Splatoon 2, and up until now, all of Splatoon 3. This won't happen until June 11th though. To share anything though that isn't a Splatoon 3 Plaza post, you're gonna have to find an alternative way to do so. And there are quite a few ways to do this. Like, let's say I wanted to save this silly picture of a villager here from Animal Crossing. I can also share and edit like usual, and I can just choose to send this picture directly to my smartphone. It will disconnect you from your game that you're in. You can send a batch of stuff too, just like when you're regularly posting and it will give you a little QR code. You take this QR code, that's so you can set up your phone to connect with your Switch. You'll end up doing a second QR code after that, and bada bing bada boom, you can send it right to your phone instead. And from your phone, you can post on Twitter, you can post on Facebook, you can post on Instagram, you can post wherever you please. So this is gonna be our new workaround. It's relatively quick, there are other ways to fix it too. For example, you could also have a micro USB card in your Switch and just put that right in your PC. Bada bing, bada boom, you get the picks easy peasy. But honestly, speaking of easy peasy, Splatoon 3 really does get it easy. The problem, uh, problem lies in Splatoon 2. The fix earlier that I discussed is only happening for Splatoon 3. They are not integrating this for Splatoon 2. And it really hurts to see, because Splatoon 2, for a lot of people, was their first foray into Splatoon. Like, Splatoon 1 dying was kind of this big nostalgia bomb for a lot of us. Myself included, I started with Splatoon 1. But a lot of people got their start with this franchise in this game. This is the first game they own. How many people do you know that would go crazy if they saw this map in Splatoon 3 right now? Come on. It's only been a couple of hours since the Twitter post went out, telling us about the end of posting to Twitter. However, they made it clear in their statement that the Splatoon 2 Plaza posts just kind of will stop. A lot of people aren't taking it very well. People, people move fast. <laughs> people are quick on this. When you think about how alive Splatoon 2's posts were just like two years ago, not even, it's just sad to see it like this. For now, at least, the Plaza is full of people who leave posts but the problem is that in just a little bit, it's gonna be just like when you're in offline mode playing Splatoon 2. You just won't have anything. In fact, you can emulate this right now by, I think, going into your menu, going to the options. I think there's, yep, you can turn off the posts. Without any tools, there's not much more I can do to actually emulate what you would see in the plaza after June 10th. But you can see that it's gonna be something like this. There will be automatically generated inklings and octolings walking around, possibly with placeholder like Splatfest posts and like we don't know for sure. But they say very clearly in the post that the characters that appear and posts that are displayed in the square will be replaced by data already prepared within the game software. So we don't really know what's exactly going to be there, but it's definitely not going to be us. I was gonna go into like the X rank thing and try to like just see if I got a game, right? And the first thing I did when I came into this space was I tried opening up my like my freshest fits to like grab gear really quick and I remembered wait. <laughs> wait, we can't do that in this game. <laughs> when Splatoon 3 first released, a lot of people still use Splatoon 2's Plaza post as a way to interact with people who also didn't have the game or just weren't really ready to move on. And there are still people who play Splatoon 2 all the time. Seeing it die so suddenly, only a year and a half after it's been replaced, it's just sad. Like, it already has had a significantly dwindling player base because Splatoon 3 exists, but this just feels like such a sudden, swift nail in the coffin for Splatoon 2, because it's gonna not really gonna make people wanna be here, you know? All you can do is 
jump into a queue and hope enough people are there. Play Salmon Run and hope you find three people. Hop in a turf war and hope the room fills up. You don't know what other people are saying, thinking, or doing when they take away the plaza posts. If you have Splatoon 3, these changes are more or less decently okay because there are a lot of people out there that I know and I see on the regular even in my like stream community where people that have no interest in using Twitter but have always wanted to post more in the plaza now they can it's easy it hurts basically every other game and does hurt Splatoon 3 as well because now you have to send your clips to your phone before you can post them or to a USB or you have to plug your switch into your computer prior to being able to share and that can take a little bit of the quick and snappy functionality of the Switch out of your hands and might make you not post as much, which can be a bit sad. It is, in the end, Twitter's fault. This isn't some cheap bite either, like grabbing something from Krusty Sean. It's expensive. If you want to have an app on Twitter, something like Nintendo's post the Twitter thing must be so expensive. If you open up X's developer platform, I hate calling it that, just going to something like the Pro package is $5,000 a month. And we know for a fact that Nintendo probably needs to make a lot of calls, a lot of posts. I don't even want to imagine how much they're paying. One of the most sad things about getting rid of this API and taking away quick Twitter posting is that some people might not be able to share as much as they might expect they would regarding, you know, a game they're having a lot of fun with. Like, let's say I made a really cool move in Suica game and I wanted to share a, qu a clip really quick before I got back to a game. Maybe I'll just think about doing it later if I have to save it to my phone first and then throw it onto Twitter. Yeah, it takes only like 10, 20 more seconds. But for some people, that 20 seconds is enough where they just don't want to do it anymore. It might end up hurting other games down the road. I genuinely believe that after June 11th, when you can have anybody posting in the plaza, even without social media, I think that the plaza will actually be more active than ever. Because right now, when you're walking around Splatoon 3, you do, on occasion, find individuals who are just bot accounts. Or at least, it seems like they're pre-generated. They don't have posts, and they just have, like, regular gear. This isn't the only guy in my plaza right now with this. I can go up, like, I think it's, like, right... I think they're like right, right here. This or no, this one, this one, this one. Yeah, see, happened twice. Until then, you might as well take advantage of it while it's here. Nintendo, I'm pretty sure, lasted longer than Xbox and PlayStation in this whole ordeal, so it's understandable again why it happened. But it still sucks. At least after everything's over, we'll still have the people of Splatoon 3 to deal with. <laughs> you can still see wonderful posts like this. Bye bye.